Yeah, it's like a simple, simple kanji coding pull my pigana mumper 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 you my life mumper you. How do you explain Nepali people like personally for you? How do you find Nepali people? I only have one word for them. They are good people, okay. nice and friendly. So. Thank you so much. Timro Nam Kyo, Nam Hafiz, Alawali Alajikbo. I've visited a lot of places in Nepal, mm -hmm. Biratnaga, Butol, Pokhara, a lot of places due to the football. Oh, well. But my favorite is Pokhara. Darshak Ben, Namaskar. Look for TV. Ko you business prostitute may yar like swagat sa ma B Plus Jam Kattel. Aile Copa America ra Euro Cup ko season chal raha kuch sa. Aise beach bigot ek dasak dekhi Nepal ma football khelde ay raha ka Nigerian star. Afiz Wala Wale hami sanga hunun sa. Aunus mahalai swagat garom. Welcome to our show, Afiz. Thank you. When did you heard about Nepal and how did you imagine Nepal after, uh, before and then when you came to Nepal? Uh, the first time I came to Nepal was 2012 mm -hmm. and the expectation I had then was so high but when I got here things changed but with time I had to adjust and get used to the life and culture. Mm -hmm. So you, you come to Nepal in first uh, 2012? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how is your relation with your coach and how do you find the difficulties uh, when you first came to Nepal? Uh, you came to first at, at our city club, right? Yeah. yeah. So is it uh, easy for you to make the relation with the coach and then the language and the uh, different culture? How do you find that? How do you explain it? At first it was quite difficult, but uh, mm -hmm. with time I get used to some friends. I, mm -hmm. I have some African friends in the team. Mm -hmm. then, so okay. I initially get used to them okay so mm -hmm. the coach was able to speak good english with me which with time uh, can you mention the name of your coach Madhu when you Karki. were Madhu Karki. That was, okay he was my first coach in the mm -hmm. so i got used to the guys and he told me to feel at home and comfortable so okay i found it very friendly as a family that time uh, so can you can you please uh tell us some nepali language that you you learned in in nepal no like Timro Nam Kyo, Miru Nam Hafiz, Alawali Alajikbo. Okay. From Nigeria, like Mirudes, Nigeria. So, uh, so how many games did you play uh, till now? Like, I mean, like, in how many clubs? Uh, five yeah. clubs, five I think. Mm -hmm. RCT, Sankata, Three Star, Manang, and Nepal okay. Super League, Danga. Okay. So, but number of games, I've lost count. I can't mm -hmm. remember. Okay. Which was the most unforgettable uh, game for you in Nepal? Uh, I think the unforgettable game for me was my first year in Nepal against Nepal Army. Mm -hmm, okay. Which I got the first red card of my career and got a one year ban mm -hmm. for being aggressive with the referee mm -hmm. and the player. So that okay. was the unforgettable, unforgettable yeah. moment for me in Nepal. Mm -hmm, okay. uh, how do you explain a uh, Nepali football team and the present situation of Nepali football players? and? Uh, who is the most favorite Compare, player? Uh, I'll say the first time I came mm -hmm. till now, mm -hmm. the level has gone up to uh, compared to the previous years. I think now the future lights ahead of the players. Like they have a good future with them. The coach, mm -hmm. he has a good plan with the young boys. He's giving younger boys plan uh, chance to play. Play, yeah. So I think right now. The football is going up, and my favorite player in Nepal is Bishal Rai. Okay, so can can you explain why Bishal Rai? What do you like the most in him? His intelligence and his fast thinking. Mm -hmm, okay. So, mm -hmm. so uh, what might be the suggestion uh, that you would like to give the, to the Nepali football team? Uh, I think the suggestion will not be much. Just mm -hmm. they should be passionate and professional about this game mm -hmm. and uh, they, they, they work hard as well they, they're so hard working but mm -hmm. i think they just have to be more professional like okay this is my job and they take it serious mm -hmm. uh, how do you find uh, nepali lifestyle because you are from nigeria so for the first time when you came to nepal you see the different people different lifestyle different culture and as well different language as well so how do you say how do you find the nepali lifestyle and culture i think at first when i came the lifestyle was Surprising though I was not so much surprised because back in Nigeria I used to watch Indian movies. So okay. <laughs> it's more of what I saw on TV and what I experienced life. life. So it was kind of so easy for me. It wasn't the first time I saw people putting on sari. Okay. 
and first time wasn't I've seen it on TV before, but when I saw Nepali people, so I kind of think similar culture. culture okay. I think the mm -hmm. religion was Hindi, so Hindu. Hindu, yeah. So it was not so surprising to me. Okay. Uh, what about the Nepali food? Does it make you difficult to uh, yeah. the first time? Or? The first time at first, the first time I came to Nepal was difficult because mm. the first time I came to Nepal, I ate rice for the first year. Okay. Only rice. Only rice, yeah. Okay. No more, nothing more. So at first it was difficult, but with time I get used to the Nepali dishes. Okay, so how do you explain Nepali people, like personally for you? How do you find Nepali people? I only have one word for them. They are good people, okay. nice and friendly. So. Thank you so much. So, uh, are there any behavior that Nepali people should, should change in your point of view? What do you think personally that Nepali people's behavior that they should improve? I think not the whole Nepalese, but the few of them who are not, uh, think, I think they are not civilized, maybe mm -hmm. they haven't gone abro abroad. The only thing I will uh, like them to change about is the perspective of we Africans. Uh -huh. Most people think we come from a poor background, mm -hmm. probably from jungle or something. Okay. But if they get to know, like study about African culture, culture. like they read about us, we have some mineral resources, mm -hmm. we have good facilities, good infrastructure. But the reason why Africans travel abroad is, you know, some don't get opportunities in okay. their country mm -hmm. due to the population. So that's the only perspective I, w I would like some of them to change. Change, okay. Having a negative thought about, okay, Africans. African peoples, so okay. I think. So how many places of Nepal have you visited? Which one is your best? I've visited a lot of places in Nepal. Mm -hmm. Biratnaga, Butul, Pokhara. A lot of places due to the football. Oh, well. But my favorite is Pokhara. Pokhara, okay, yeah. yeah. Almost all people like Pokhara. And uh, do you know any political leader of Nepal? No, but I used to hear the Prime Minister, K.P. Oli. Okay. That's the only name I have in my head. Okay, so you are hearing K.P. Oli frequently right now? Yeah, yeah okay. frequently. And uh, what about the film, film stars, superstars? In Nepali? Star, yeah, oh, Nepal. I don't know, Do you know? Okay, no worries. Uh, have you ever heard a Nepali song? Mm, yeah, yeah, I used to listen to some song back then, so... Mm -hmm. So please, can you can you sing for us a one song? Yeah, it's like a simple, simple kanchi ko dimple man pridana mampari mampar mampario malai mampario. Have you ever watched a Nepali movies? Nepali movies? No. Okay, you must try once. <laughs> I'll try one. Yeah. Okay. So. so, what is your future plan now? I mean, like, would you like to play in Nepal for more years or? Yeah, it all depends because uh, it depends on where my agent get job because mm -hmm. mostly my agent used to get job in Middle East. Mm -hmm. If he gets offer, I'll go. But if not, Nepal is like my second home. I'm always welcome in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So I think for now, the plan is the present. The plan for now is the present, which is the yeah. ED upcoming. I guess you have show. already signed Morang Marsangdi for the next year. Yeah, so I yeah, uh, the coming year you will be in Nepal. Yeah, I'll be in Nepal. Okay. You are from Nigeria, so how would you like to explain uh, your motherland? I think Nigeria is a, a, is a good country, but you know, mm -hmm. I only have good things to say about my country. We have uh, mineral resources, mm -hmm. petrol, uh, friendly people, a lot of languages. I think mm -hmm. Nigeria has the more, most languages in the whole world or so. Okay. so I have only good things to say about my country. Okay, so you are playing from uh, Nepal. You are from Nigeria, and you are playing from Nepal now. Yeah. So, what would you like to uh, to tell to your your country, your people that uh, there are many opportunities if you do well, you can be in uh, maybe in the Spanish club or Spanish like. Uh, how do you explain it? I think the advice I have for them for, for your country's people. The advice I have for them is uh, Nepal. What they think about Nepal is not what hmm. they, Nepal, is. Mm -hmm. Nepal is. I think Nepal is a friendly country hmm. with great peoples. The football is developing, but if with their own professionalism, if it comes to Nepal, we can all develop the football together. Mm -hmm. So I think the future lies ahead of the players. In which club do you used to play uh, before coming to Nepal? Before coming to Nepal, I played a football academy in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's called Choir Football Academy. That was where I played. Who is the best player in the world? I have two options for you, Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Okay, why? He's Explain. just, yeah, I just think he's, 
It's different to all players. Okay. It's simply different, totally uh -huh. different. So now it's the season of uh, Copa America and Euro Cup. Which country will win the Copa America in your point of view? I think uh, if Argentina can skip through the semi-final and mm -hmm. play Brazil in the final, I'll, I'll go for Argentina. Argentina. And, and what, what about Euro? Euro, I think if England can get to the final, I'll predict I'll go for England as England. well to win. Okay, so can you can you explain about your culture, your your country's culture? Mm, no, the culture is quite totally different. Like mm -hmm. you know, we have a different religion back home, Christian and Muslim. Mm -hmm. So the culture is we pray, we the Muslim pray five times daily because okay. I'm a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So and here I kind of uh, find it strange. The first time I came, seeing people going to temple, so okay. it was first. I never checked it on internet. This is how it works. Okay. But I felt strange at first, but with time I get used to it. Like okay, we serve the same God. If you have a, mm -hmm. a good heart, that means yeah. we only worshiping God together. Mm -hmm. So. So have you ever visited a temple in Nepal? Yeah. Okay. In Pokhara, the in one in, in the middle in of the water. Okay, Talwara, yeah. Can you tell me uh, the, the lifestyle of the Nigerian people, like uh, a whole day of a Nigerian people? A uh, normal people who work, used to work, or like this? Uh, in the daytime, like uh, in the morning. From, from the morning, yeah. Sorry, in the morning they wake up, mm -hmm. I think 6 a.m. or so. They get bad, yeah, okay. get ready for work. Mm -hmm. Those who have cars drive around to the offices. Walk and why those who doesn't have hop in a public transport, yeah. maybe bike or a taxi. Okay. Or a regular Nigerian citizen wakes up in the morning, go to the office, and comes back around five six o'clock. Mm -hmm. So that's just a simple simple life lifestyle in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is the best place of uh, Nigeria? Mm, the major city of Nigeria, like where entertainment is and mm -hmm. everything is, is Lagos. Mm -hmm. The previous, the old capital, but the main capital is Abuja. Abuja, okay. So, a very quiet and scintillating area. So, can you please now, you already sing our Nepali song, so we would like to hear the Nigerian song from you. Yeah. Uh, Will you, please? Let me see. Maybe your I, best song. I don't have any favorite, but... Yeah, but we want one. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Just... I don't have any on my head right now, but... Nigerian songs are lots, but I'll sing uh, ah, okay. my motherland, which is uh, appreciate me. Now that I'm alive, celebrate me. Now that I am alive, no be see when I live this life. Mm -hmm. You could celebrate me for my back. Yeah, so that's just it. Okay. So just English song. Mm -hmm. What do you think, like, the most, uh, uh, the, the known biggest team, like uh, German, uh, France, Portugal, they already get out from the Tournaments. tournament because of the, they were in the group of death. So how would you like to explain, if they were not in the same group, uh, are there uh, the possibilities of Germany, Portugal and France to be in the semi-final now? How do, how do you analyze this? Because in my point of view, I guess, because of the group of death, this is what happened now. We can see the results, the semi-finals list. So, how do you think? I think, even if they are not in the group of this together, mm -hmm. I think France are more favorite at first. Mm -hmm. Though I didn't expect Germany to go out just so soon. Mm -hmm. But I think Germany, uh, the lack of experienced player cost them in the team. team okay. But they played so good, but I think their starting of the tournament was so poor, which was what Really yeah, but when talking tournament. about the game with the Portugal, Portugal. they played really nice. They played, that yeah. was the game mm, which yeah, made them come mm. back to life. So, and for France, I think yeah. they lost concentration towards the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You saw they were leading 3-2, yeah. uh, sorry, 3-2, and, and Pogba missed, uh, he lost the, the ball. ball yeah. Yeah. Talking about Mappe, he, uh, people were like thinking that he will be, he will do really nice better in this season, but he didn't actually do that. Mm. How do you explain it? Like. I would say maybe, you know, there was maybe probably the conflicts that they had before the Euro. Mm -hmm. I think conflict between him and Giroud. Okay. There was some misunderstanding Standing. which we read on the press. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that really affected him, which I don't think should be the reason why he performed bad. That, yeah. Because from the stats, he has more shots on targets, mm -hmm. but he never scored Literally, any. Yeah. So he was so unlucky in this tournament. Talking about Portugal, the last season, uh, last uh, a Euro Cup winning country. Yeah. Uh, how do you explain like Portugal? What are the bad things that 
that make that leads them to the uh, to yeah, leave the tournament. Yeah. I think uh, Portugal were also favourite due mm -hmm. to the star player Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Okay. But to me, I think they weren't just so lucky this tournament. They were. Mm -hmm. even if you remember when they won in 2016, they, they qualified like mm -hmm. a best player. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they got to the final. So this time around, also they performed well, but. Mm -hmm. I think the the inexperience, lack of experience, experience and them yeah. down. We also can uh, say that the defense was not, defense very strong. not so strong, but yeah. I think they played well. Pepe, Pepe and Ruben Diaz. Yeah, they the really keeper, performed keeper well. also. Yeah, the keeper was outstanding well as well. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. While well, talking about the keeper, did you watch the uh, match of Switzerland? Uh, the keeper of Switzerland, he was really nice actually. Somewhere, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, yeah. He saved a lot of chances, he saved a lot of goals. I think Switzerland as well, <laughs> they played so well. So well yeah, Even they, to me, I think they, just, they didn't expect to get to that stage, yeah. but unlucky for them to yeah, exit yeah. the tournament. Yeah, but, but the keeper, he, he was, was like, outstanding. Yeah, outstanding so, so, so he, outstanding. I guess like 22 shot on target on by days. Spain and then he, he was saved by keepers. Yeah, so yeah, so we, can, we can guess by this. He was one of the best outstanding players. So, in your point of view, what is the main problem that you see? I think the first as a thing, football player. Yeah, I think the first thing they have to address in Nepali football is the league structure. Mm -hmm. The league should uh, have a long uh, duration. Duration, okay. Six, seven months Man, and keep the players busy. Busy playing. And, like, they should also play it in different districts, home and away, so other districts can also experience the mm -hmm. professionalism, the football. There are lots of players who are inspired by these so-called international players. Mm -hmm. So I think if they get to play abroad, uh, sorry, if they get to play in different cities, the younger players will also be ready to become a footballer. So with that, they can be so passionate about it. So I think a longer league of the, the long league for the players to keep them busy towards the whole year. And the players mentality should be like, okay, a professionalism, this is my job, I have to be passionate about it, mm -hmm. be professional, watch what you eat, exercise properly, watch your weight and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so it's been like already three and a half years that you are uh, still in Nepal. You, got, you have got many fans, uh, in Nepali fans in now, so what would you like to say to your, your fans? I would like to thank them for supporting me all these years during the Teen and tick and teen. and all I have to say is I'm grateful for their support and their support keeps me going and working mm -hmm. hard. And I, pro I promise to give them the best and my best performance. What did your childhood dream to be a footballer? Yeah, it was my childhood dream to be a footballer. Okay. And I so who, who was the inspiration uh, to be a footballer? Mm, I think Ronaldo de Lima. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so can you uh, explain me about your childhood, please? Mm, I think I, I, my childhood was awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I spent more time with my mom. Okay. So she actually inspired me most times, support me. Mm -hmm. She's a tailor. She made a shin pad for me, like support me buying boots. Okay. Making jersey for me, like okay, she supports me while I was growing up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that really motivates me to achieve and go for my dream mm -hmm. to become a, a professional football player. Are you single or not? I'm married. Uh, you're married? Okay. Yeah. So do you have children? I have one daughter. Uh, let's talk about your football career as well. Can you tell me the started days of your Nepal when you came to Nepal and then till now, how many games did you play uh, in Nepal and the club and the air, please? I think uh, the first time I came to Nepal was 2012. Mm -hmm. And I spent about uh, a year plus, mm -hmm. probably a year and two months. Mm -hmm. I joined the uh, RCT in 2012 and uh, I left 2013, early 2013 when I got suspended for a year. Mm -hmm. So, and I spent a year in Nigeria. Okay. And I joined Sankata 2013. 13, yeah. That's a year after I left RCT. Mm -hmm. And I left Sankata after six months, which was when I got injured, ACL mm -hmm. ligament. Mm -hmm. So I was out for one and a half year back home, mm -hmm. recuperating from ligament injury. So when I joined Sankata. Ah, sorry, I joined Three Star 2015 after the earthquake mm -hmm. for three months. 
Later, I played for Manang 2016 for six months. Six months, okay. So after 2016, I went to Bangladesh 2017. Mm. Okay, you played the first division in Bangladesh. First division, mm -hmm. Chittagong Abahan. Okay. So I played one season with them. And later, I came back to Nepal 2018. Mm -hmm. I played and the A division, which yeah. we were the champion. Champion, yeah. I played for one year. Mm -hmm. Ten months or something like that. Ten months, I guess. Ten months. Yeah. So and I went to Saudi Arabia 2019-20. Yeah, you played the B division, second division, second division Saudi league, league on Saudi 2020, Arabia. 2020. Saudi Arabia. Okay. So and I came back to Nepal 2021 to play Nepal Super Nepal League. Super league. And you were the second highest goal scorer of yeah. the Nepal Super League. Yeah. Yes, I was. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Yeah. So can you? Uh, you were from Nigeria. Yes, I am. So can you please explain me the process about the? selection of Nepal. So how is the process? Can you please explain it? I think it was uh, complicated because at first I was studying in Russia. Mm -hmm. I was a student. Okay. And uh, I, I, a friend of mine was playing in Nepal at then. Mm -hmm. So he told me he's a goalkeeper in Nepal and he earns a lot. So mm -hmm. it would be so good if I can come and play. Okay. So I dropped out of school in Russia. Okay. And I came to Nepal through an agent. Mm -hmm. So he told me he was actually taking me to India. Okay. We will be stopping in Nepal for some days and move to India. Okay. So and when we got here, he left us and he left me. me okay. And traveled to India. So, so he left you in, in Nepal. In Nepal with, okay. uh, with a visa. So mm. I was stuck here. So I was confused. So so suddenly he called me that okay there was there is a game in poker. Okay. That then was uh, Safal Gold Cup or something. Okay. So we went to Pokhara and I played for Bhutan team. Okay. The Bhutanese team. So I played my first game I, against Pokhara. I scored. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, clubs are there watching. Watching, okay. So I guess one of our city officials now asked me, Are you a Nepali? Are you an African or you play in Bhutan? I said, No, I'm in Nepal. Which team do you play for? I said, I don't know. I don't have any team. Team, okay. So would you like to play for our team in National League? I said, Obviously, sir. I will take the chance. So that was how. You enter. I signed okay. with RCT. It was interesting that that, 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 that that left you in. Yeah, so from yeah, there, okay. I said, okay, no need to go to India again. Okay. Stay. Okay. So yeah. I stayed in Nepal. Tarsakwind, as a uh, Nepali football jagat, I have a lot of time in the world. I have a lot of time in the world. I have a lot of time in the world. I have a lot of time in the world. I have a lot of time in the world. I have a lot of time in the world. I have a lot of time in the world. Uh, Lokpath TV, Hirdegar Nola, Namaskar.